welcome back today we are going to discuss the water supply arrangements in building in that the following contents are the pipe materials plastic pipes high density polythene pipes densified cast iron pipes and those merits and demerits of each pipes so first we'll start with the pipe materials first one is this is the type uh, it is uh, plastic pipes we usually use this in the connection uh, in the sewer lines nowadays uh, it's been boycotted by the government for water supply layouts so the pipe uh, plastic pipes these are formed from a material that contains one or more organic polymeric substances so why we we are going to use plastic pipe systems so these are very flexible and uh, long life period it has uh, safety factor it is been checked low cost easy of instantly installation in the sense we are going to cast it and we are going to lay it very easily even the repair it is easy energy efficiency is more and sustainable for uh, long duration next uh, we will be uh, thinking about the advantages now so it is low in initial cost lightweight good corrosion resistance available in long lengths and it's it has long life with high flexibility disadvantages uh, it has low resistance against high pressure because the thickness of pipe is less low resistance against high temperature because it is a flexible material it melts in high temperature poor fire resistance if you apply fire it starts melting so only it is low resistance against high temperature the susceptibility to change as a result of prolonged expo exposure to sun if we are going to leave it on the ground and it is been exposed to sunlight then it starts changing its properties as well as the size of that things so next we will go through the high density polyethylene pipe so in this pipes uh, these are uh, less flexible in nature and little bit tougher uh, they can withstand movement of heavy traffic because their flexural strength if you Uh, drag on both the sides uh, or pull it from both the sides it uh, shows a little bit higher uh, flexible things uh, comparing to the plastic pipes these pipes are recommended for maximum water temperature around 45 degrees celsius even we can send the pipes in the water which is uh, about temperature 45 degrees celsius they are supplied either as coils or in straight lengths of 5 to 20 meters so some of the advantages are they don't get corroded light in weight does make making transport loading and unloading easier high resistance to impact if any type of impact force is been acted on that it's uh, it been Uh, reflexes the same force without making any damage to itself easy to join uh, there is nothing uh, extra material you require for connecting both the uh, two or more can uh, pipes they are resistant to many chemicals and corrosive materials so only the pipe it is been called as high density polythene and some of the disadvantages are at present the, there is a shortage of raw material 
to uh, cast the pipes high cost of raw material so next we will be understanding this cast iron pipes so these are these are manufactured in lengths of 2.5 to 5.5 meters the cast iron pipe may have two types of two types one is ordinary sand molding and other will be centrifugal process because of its ease in maintain manufacture laying and jointing ci pipes are vastly used for water supply these are very uh, as i have said this is a cast iron pipe it is less corrosive with respect to the water if it is uh, chemical in nature or it it uh, re, uh, it is little bit uh, Uh, resistance to the hard waters so we have, we prefer the ci pipes these are mostly used in water supply schemes due to their durability strength resistance to corrosion and ease of laying ease of laying in the sense we are it is uh, very easy to lay the pipes it's usually uh, made uh, laid by the manpower not the machine powers and it is resistant to corrosion as i have said the water if it is any type of uh, corrosive material if it is been present it is uh, uh, resistant to the corrosion some of the advantages cost is moderate the pipes are easy to join we can join the pipes easily the pipes are strong enough to take any type of loads it might be the impact load or it might be the variable loads and it is durable in nature service connection can be easily made average life is about 100 years we usually uh, cast the pipes saying that it is around 100 years but at the most 75 to 80 years is the life span if it comes to the uh, practical way some of the disadvantages are uh, the carrying capacity of these decreases with increase in okay. uh, the cap uh, carrying capacity of these pipes uh, is Uh, decreases with increase in life of the pipes in the sense if the pipe uh, life is more then uh, the capacity is going to decrease because of uh, the scaling made by the hard waters now pipes are not used for high pressure uh, as this is a matter if any type of uh, pressure it's been created in the pipe it starts uh, showing some of the cracks or uh it it may it might get explode possibility of breaking during transportation and also making connections uh, it happens while practical things goes on while connection uh, connecting uh, there might be chance of cutting at the edges which leads to the leakages even while transporting if any type of uh, problem is ha been happened during transportation there might be a chances of uh, cracks production in the pipes at the last this have heavy and these are heavy and transportation cost is more as, as it is uh, the material it is of made up of iron so iron it is little bit heavier so this uh, while transporting these are little bit heavier and even while laying these pipes it feels heavy and uh, transportation cost it will be more so thank you this ends this video